Here we have another problem where two people are working together. This problem is slightly more difficult. So you can mow your lawn in three hours and your brother can mow the same lawn in two hours. And the situation is this, you mow the lawn for one hour by yourself. Then your brother joins you and he mows the lawn with you at the same time. And so in your house, you have two lawn mowers. So you're mowing at the same time. So how many additional hours will it take to finish? And if you want to pause the video and attempt this problem, feel free. And so let's begin. So I will say one divided by three T plus one divided by two T is equal to one minus one divided by three times one. So you should think one divided by three T, what does that mean? It means in three hours, if you work alone, you will have one, one meaning a complete lawn. But your brother also works, and if he works at the same time, then in two hours, he will have a complete lawn. Now this is where it gets a little bit different. So I'm going to say one, one meaning a complete lawn, but you should remember that you already worked for one hour, and so you don't need a complete lawn. You need one minus one third, because you worked for one hour, so you achieved one third of the lawn. And so all you need to achieve left with you and your brother is two thirds of a lawn. Here I'm just getting a common denominator. So I multiply this by two, multiply this by two, I get two divided by six t. Here I multiply this by three, multiply this by three, and I get plus three divided by six t is equal to two thirds. So two plus three is five, five divided by six t is equal to two thirds. Then we can cross multiply and get five t is equal to two divided by three times six. And so five t is equal to four. And so t is equal to four divided by five. So 0.8 hours left. So in total, you worked 1.8 hours. You worked one hour by yourself plus the additional 0.8 hours and your brother worked a total of 0.8 hours. So more specifically, how many additional hours will it take? It will take an additional 0.8 hours. And we can always check. Let's say I do this, one third plus one third t plus one half t is equal to one. One meaning a complete lawn. One third because we already worked for one hour and our rate is one third t. And so we already achieved one third. And when we solve this problem in the last slide, we said that t is equal to four fifths. And so here my purpose is to just to check. I'm going to plug in t is four fifths, t is four fifths, and if I get one, I know I have a complete lawn. So one third plus one third times four divided by five plus one half times four divided by five. And so I would get one third plus four times one is four, three times five is 15, plus one times four is four, divided by two times five is 10, so four divided by 10, or two divided by five. Next, I need to get a common denominator. Here is 15, so I should make this 15 and this 15. Multiply this by five, multiply this by five, I get five divided by 15. Multiply this by three, multiply this by three, I get six divided by 15, and so I get four plus six is 10, 10 plus five is 15, 15 divided by 15 is one. So I have a complete lawn. And so if I work for one hour, then my brother and me work together for 0.8 hours, we will have a complete lawn. And that's pretty much it for this video.